Hello again, it's Mr RG Stuff in the workshop and what's on the bench today? Well it's a linear tracking record player and you may have seen in a previous video or some previous videos I did a linear tracking gramophone. Now this more accurately is a linear tracking assisted record player because it's actually a bit of a hybrid. Essentially uh, there is a pivoted tone arm like on a normal record player um, but it's on a carriage, it's on a, an old uh, CD uh, audio or audio CD carriage and there's a sensor and the uh, sensor is activated by this piece of metal going between the two, um, the two jaws and it basically blocks um, the infrared light that's uh, being passed between the two parts and um, as the uh, tone arm um, swings across the record the piece of metal on this piece of copper here um, breaks the beam and causes the whole carriage to move and so the pivot just moves this way. So the tone arm does actually pivot a little bit but um, the carriage takes up a lot of the, uh, the pivot and actually keeps it much straighter than it otherwise would be. And although you can't see it very well um, there's actually a spot of light there so basically this is a, a sort of focused LED here bit like a laser pointer but just with an ordinary high powered LED and um, it's uh, putting a spot of light there and uh, when I come to demonstrate this in a minute I'm going to turn the lights down to make that a bit more visible. Now I did show the drive mechanism and the associated electronics in a video way back in 2018 however all I had it doing in that video was just driving the carriage back and forth. Okay, before the demo, just want to do a quick look around what we've got. So basically there's a cheap ceramic cartridge on the end of the tone arm. Um, that's just using some uh, coffee stirrers taped together. There's a 3D printed part there that holds the bearing and it also holds the uh, sensor. The sensor um, is out of some old printer or something. I don't really know what it is. I just sort of figured out how it worked electrically. Um, the actual carriage is the uh, CD mechanism or the head moving mechanism out of uh, an audio CD player. Um, there's an Arduino down there, I think that's a Nano, well a Nano clone anyway, and uh, some driver chip which um, I will put the, uh, the number off on the screen somewhere. And um, some batteries, so one drives the preamp, um, one drives the uh, sort of torch arrangement. And then, th and then there is the um, amplifier. Um, this is one I built um, a while ago. Um, it's not that great. Um, I think it's got an LM386 in it. And um, oh, that's just a little 5 volt regulator to run the LED in the torch. Um, it's not that important. Um, now this does work. Um, the sound quality is not great. Um, Although this is all about tracking, I haven't necessarily got the uh, the length of the tone arm right and I certainly haven't got the weight of the uh, cartridge or the, the force of the cartridge right. Um, but it does play and uh, it's quite interesting I think to watch and I think uh, there is uh, scope to do a bit more with it and uh, maybe uh, maybe improve it a bit further too.
Just for comparison, without the auto compensation on, the dot of light would move much further in playing the record. Something like that. As you probably saw, there wasn't enough movement in the tracking assist to um, actually play the whole of this record. And that's because although it's a 7 inch, it's an old 7 inch shellac record from about 1930 and they just tried to cram a lot more onto it than the uh, 7 inch vinyl that I played before. Now this isn't a finished project by any stretch of the imagination, but I will put the source code for the Arduino in a comment below. Well the linear tracking compensation is clearly not completely effective because the dot of light does move away from the mark. However overall I'm quite pleased with it and I think uh, it can be improved a bit more in the future. Ok well that's it for now, thanks for watching and if you have enjoyed this video please subscribe to Mr RG Stuff. Thank you.